Good morning students and welcome to our YouTube channel Gnan Mandri Modern School. So, in the previous video, we are just going through the chapter number 1 that is plants and animals. So, in the very first video, we have seen the, some of the common characteristics of the plants and animals. And then after, we have seen the difference between plants and animals. And then after, we are just going through what we have just seen, the some of the things like how they get food, how they respirate, then after their movement and that all. And here we have just reached to the, uh, respond to the stimuli. Okay, so what is that? So respond to the stimuli. Respond. Sorry, response. Not respond. Respond to stimuli. Okay, respond to stimuli. So, here let us see that here a stimuli is something that causes a reaction. Plants and animals respond to stimuli in different ways. So, first of all, we will see about the plants, sorry, animals, and then after we will see about the animals. But I am just making a table only. Here I will write off animals and here I will write off plants. Okay. So here the first point that is animals have sense organs. Okay. Animals have sense organs. So here that is the first point of the animals that animals have sense organs ok animals have sense organs the second one that is plants do not have plants do not have any sense of them. Okay, plants do not have any sense of them. Here, here, they respond to stimuli at once. The animals just respond to stimuli at once. They do not just want uh, wait and just take time to respond any of the stimuli ok so let's and here I can write that they respond they respond respond to stimuli at once stimuli at once Okay, and here they respond a stimuli. Why here? They have a sense organs, so they respond a stimuli at once. But these plants do not just respond any stimuli at once. They respond slowly. They respond. Slowly, slowly to, uh, to stimuli. Okay, they respond here. They respond quickly. Why? Because they have sense organ. But here they don't respond. Here they don't respond quickly to the stimuli. They respond slowly to the stimuli. Okay. Then another one. If they heard a loud noise, they are startling and may run. If they see a flash of lightning, they may close their eyes. Have you noticed that the fox of pigeon rules rooting on a building fly into the air when they heard a loud sound? 
clap your hand when the bird sitting on the window sill will fly away you can show show away animals by waving a stick at them okay take care that you only wave the stick do not hit the animal okay they respond to the sight sound or the other stimuli but here but they do not respond see here plants do not have any sense organs such as eyes nose or ears but they respond to the stimuli although they do it slowly so slowly it is by feeling the warmth of the sun that the morning glory and morning glory and the sunflower open out they do not have they do not see the sun leaves of the plant such as touch me not fold up if you touch them if the temperate in the temperate region tree shed their leaves as winter approach in spring they when they feel the warmth of the sun they put out the leaves so in that way they respond to the stimuli but they respond quickly to the any of these stimuli okay so then so this is all about the respond to a stimuli in plants and animals let us say it again in animals what they have they have sense organs so they quickly respond any quickly respond to any of the stimuli but in plants they do not have any of the sense organs so what happens they do not respond quickly to any of the stimuli okay students now moving forward here it is reproduction so here let us see that so here reproduction okay reproduction so here reproduction is the process by living by which living thing produce young one of their own kind okay they produce their young one of their own kind only and in the animals mammals such as lion tiger rabbit dog and human beings reproduce by giving birth to their young ones of their own kind they are called viviparous animals here what happens in the reproduction if we see of the animal in that they have categorized this into further two types that is first one mammals mammals such as lions tigers rabbits dogs and human being human being reproduce reproduce by giving birth to birth to young one young ones of their own kind own kind
they are called viviparous animals and the further the other category that is birds reptiles birds reptiles insect and fish lay egg from which they which the young young ones attached they are called they are called oviparous animals okay they are called the oviparous animals here is a reproduction in the animals we have just categorized this into further two types that is viviparous and the oviparous so what are the viviparous animals they just directly give birth to their young ones and what are the viviparous animals they just lay eggs and then after from egg the young one is come okay so they are called the oviparous animals and here see i am just reading it now mammals such as lions tigers rabbits dog and human beings are reproduced by giving birth to young ones of their own kind they are called viviparous animals the six foot tall kangaroo kangaroo is a strange creature it gives birth to young one which is about the size of our finger the baby find its way into mother's pouch and grow there for many months then after birds reptiles insects and fish lay eggs from which the young one has attached they are called the oviparous animals and then after coming towards the plants so here let us see how the plants are reproduced okay students so here so in the plants okay in the plants what happens here most plant reproduce through seed so how the plants are reproduced that is most plants most plants reproduce reproduce through seeds okay so this is the first point it can be asked that most plants are reproduced by what then you have to write from seeds so here the seeds germinate in the soil and grow into young plant some plants can also be reproduced by other ways for example through cutting from the stem through birds that appears on the edge of the leaves and through runners from the underground stem of the mother plant or from the roots of the mother plant okay in that way the plants are reproduced here i am just writing some of the method from which the plants are reproduced that are first is through through 
cuttings. Cuttings, okay, from skin. Then after, through birds. So in this way the plants are reproduced that is first that is plants reproduce through the seeds okay and through cutting from stem through buds that appears on the leaves through runners from the underground stem of the mother plant or from the roots of the mother plant in that way this are reproduced the plants are reproduced now moving forward it is in grafting the grafting process how the grafting process occurs that is in grafting a stem is cut and attached to the stem of the other plants and planted in the soil the new plant that grows where will have the characteristics of both plants you can develop new variety of mango the thin skin of the romanis and the taste of the mangana pale many hybrid seeds are developed through this way early cultivation wise was prone to plant diseases the wide variety was sturdy scientists have now developed a new variety that is not only sturdy but also gives a good yield so in grafting process what they do they just hybrid the seed means they just combine the two seeds together means by the grafting process they cut the one plant and just stick the other plant and there will be a different hybrid seed on it or the fruit which is there it will be that okay so that's now here the last that is growth and the that growth and the that let us see that Life. Both animals and plants have a life span 
Riga Rangi from a few days to more than 100 years. Some plants are annual, whereas some are perennial. Some trees such as Bristocon pine live for over 4,000 years. Can you imagine an animal live that long? No, that can't live that much. So here, there is a specific years of growing. Some animals grow for one year, two year and up to the thousands of year. Here they have given an example of tree which lives over 4000 years. So you can imagine an animal can live 4000 years. No, you can't imagine that. So here now we have just completed the chapter and here what I am just doing is we will write the exercise answers over here. Let us write that. So here exercise in that question number one that is match the pair. So here it is given in the column number N we have to match that in the column number B. Okay students so here first A that is plant eating animals. So the animals which eat plants they are what? They are called the what they are called plant eating animals that are called. So in the first sorry in the A it will be herbivorous animals which is fine. Herbivorous is okay. Then after B that is tiger and jaguar. Tiger and jaguar, they are carnivorous animals. So, here that will be two. Carnivorous is then after C, that is beer. So, beer that is categorized into omnivorous animal. Okay, which eat both plant and also the other animals. So, here in the beer. C that will be 4 that is omnivorous omnivorous then after coming towards the D that is frog then we can say that it is what it is the cutaneous breathing animal means what they can breathe through skin and they can also breathe through their lungs so here it will be in the D, 3, cutaneous breathing ok, then after E, that is the last one that is birds and reptiles, so here that are Oviparous animals means they give in the reproduction they just give eggs and then after the eggs just grow to the young ones so they are known as the oviparous animals so here that is first one Okay, the B 
during the photosynthesis plants take in dash so here it will be oxygen carbon dioxide or water vapor so that will be carbon dioxide so in the second one b that is 2 carbon dioxide okay carbon dioxide and the third one that is dash are the only virus animals that is lions tigers or bears so here the answer will be bears that the bears are the only virus animals so i am writing that in the c that is three bears okay then after coming towards d that is dash respond more quickly to stimuli that is animals plants or trees so here it will be the answer will be what animals because they have sense organs so they will respond quickly so in the d that will be first that is animals then after e that is mammals that reproduce by giving birth to their young ones are called dash so here it will be one that is baby birds okay carnivores or opiores mammals one so it will be first okay so here we have just completed the mcq okay students now the next question that is fill in the blanks but before that you just write down the answers of match the following and the mcq up till i am just giving you some time Okay, students. Have you written down the answers? Now moving towards the question number three, which is filling the blanks. Question number three, which is filling the blanks. so the answers of the filling the blanks the first one that is dash is an amphibian so here we can say that in the a it will be frog then after b insects have small openings for dash on their body so here it will be spiracles then after c plants breathe through spiny holes in the leaves for dash that are called stomata then after third one the process by which plants make 
food is called that that is photosynthesis photosynthesis then after e that is dash and dash are oviparous animals that is birds and reptiles e that is birds and reptiles then after f that is dash and dash can reproduce through stem cutting then here it will be rose and sugar cane so this are the answers up to the question number 3 and the further we will see in the next video or i will just send the pdf of that in the group which you have to write in your fair book i think i will just send this pdf on friday or saturday only and this video video will be published on the monday okay students we will meet in the next video in homework what you have to do is you have to just make your fair book okay students bye